Okay, welcome to the Excel 1A assignment. We have a blank workbook open up here in uh, Microsoft Excel. And the assignment says we open up our Excel worksheet, a blank workbook opens, and you will complete the following worksheet. We complete the worksheet by copying this in there. So if you don't know quite how to do it, you're going to scroll down here. And it's going to tell you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to, it says to skip cell A1. So here's A1. We're going to skip that one. We're going to go over to B1. And with our capitals on, we're going to type February. Or, sorry, January. Then we'll hit our tab key and type February. Hit the tab key and then we'll type March. If we hit enter, it takes us back here, but we want to go all the way back, so hit our left arrow. And then we want to, we're right here on step seven, we want to type in house payment. Oops. Okay, notice how that one spilled over into the next column. Okay, we can adjust that by coming up here and with this little divider between the A and the B column, just click and drag that over. Just like that. Okay, the next one is charity. Okay. Then it says continue typing down in the column, so we're going to look back up here to see what it is. Okay, so after charity, we have groceries. Okay, car payment. Gasoline. Uh, clothing, utilities, and total. Okay, now let's come back up here. Now, if I go too fast, be sure to reach up and click on the pause button and then get caught up, and then you can hit play again and continue. All right, so on January, we're going to type 750, and we're going to do that one all the way across using my tab key. I hit enter. Charity is 200 all the way across. 200, 200, 200. Hit enter. Comes back over here. Groceries. We got 300. We got 425. And we got 375. We're going to hit enter. Okay, car payment is 300 all the way across. Using my tab key to go between each of the Cells. Okay, gasoline. We did 45, 40, and 40. Now hit enter again. Clothing. We did 100, 75, and 65. Utilities is 95, 85, and 95. Okay, we're not going to do any totaling here. We're going to come down now to. Uh, cells below total and we're going to type our name okay you can type in your period right here and then go ahead and type in excel assignment 1a and hit enter all right that's all we're doing for excel 1a so go up here and save it go file save and this pops up, call it Excel 1A. Look at it and make sure it's going to your documents folder. Hit save. And if you look up here at the top, our title bar says Excel 1A. So that's all there is to this assignment. Save and upload this to Moodle. And we will start another video for Excel 1B.